As our beloved Mercedes diesels age, we're finding an increasing problem and challenge with finding reliable replacement parts. And so is the case with vacuum pumps. Now these vacuum pumps wear out. And if you wanna keep driving your diesel, you need a vacuum pump that works, or otherwise you might not have brakes. You certainly won't have a shutoff valve in some of the cars, and you'll have door locks that won't work and the climate control that malfunctions. So you have to have a vacuum system working on these old cars. You know, vacuum is not produced from the engine like on a gas engine. It's produced from a pump on these old diesels. So what do you do if you can't find new pumps? And now we've got a problem we can't even get replacement overhaul kits, particularly for this one right here, which was on the 1980 to 1985 models, okay? No more rebuild kits available. So what do you do? You have to go used, and that becomes a challenge because if you're not careful, you can get a used one that's no better than the one you already have. So in this video, what I wanna talk about is what you need to be aware of when you go out and buy one of these used vacuum pumps. I have a cross section here of the engine driven pumps that were used on Mercedes diesels from the early to mid 60s right up until 1985. Now the early ones you see here had a diaphragm installed that would move up and down and that pumping action along with the check valves would produce the vacuum. Now you can see right away the problem with these is having this rubberized type diaphragm over time they would just crack from wear. Now fortunately on this model here, the mid to late 70s, this one came out of a 1977 to 1979 W123 non-turbo diesel. You can still get these kits. You can get diaphragms and you can get check valves. So that's a plus. You don't have to worry too much about whether the diaphragm is okay as long as you can get a kit. But what about this early one here from the 60s? You can't get a kit for that. And if you're going to go out and buy a used one, you have no way of knowing unless the seller is willing to take the cover off and inspect the diaphragm. And very few sellers will do that. I see a lot of this, particularly on eBay. Well, they're going to say, oh, it worked okay when it came off the car. Well, when did it come off the car? And just because it worked doesn't mean it's good. And I'm going to explain that here in a second. That's really critical. You've got to really ask some questions before you buy a used unit like this because you don't know if it's about ready to go bad or about ready to fail, even though the seller is saying, oh, it worked fine when I removed it from the car. So I'm going to tackle removing the cover on this old one here and see if the diaphragm is okay. Now, one of the things that you really have to be careful of, and I personally have been burned quite a few times on buying used ones, is this bearing right here, see that? This is the bearing that rides on the cam at the front of the timing device on the diesel engine. And this provides the pumping action, you know, up and down, up and down. Now this type of bearing and cam assembly was used even on the very early ones. Here you see this 1965 model. Here you see this 1977 to 79 model pump. And then over here, you're gonna see this 1980 to 85 model. Look, they all use that bearing that rides up and down on the cam and that produces the pumping action to produce the vacuum in this pump. Well, guess what happens to that bearing? It wears out. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but there's a flat spot here. There's some severe wear right there on this part of the bearing. So unless you specifically ask the seller, can you please inspect the bearing the roller bearing, does it spin freely without noise? And is there any wear in the running surface on the cam on this bearing? If the seller's not willing to inspect it for you and give you a thumbs up that this is okay, then don't buy the pump. Please don't buy the pump. Because if you get a pump where this is bad, it's not gonna last very long if you put it on your engine. Some of the other problems you run into is these external check valves that you see here on these later models, you know, can go bad. And also, on the inside of this pump right here, this is an 80 to 85 model pump, came on both the non-turbo and the turbo models. 
This doesn't have a rubber diaphragm, it has a piston, see that? The piston goes up and down. And look what they use for a piston ring. I think this is really clever. This is a fiber material, and down inside this fiber material is this big, thick O-ring. And that O-ring pushes out on that fiber material, and this rides up and down inside this cylinder wall. Can you imagine how many movements? You go down the freeway at 60 miles an hour. It's amazing that these things will last 150 to 200,000 miles. But eventually this starts to wear out. And when it does wear out, it's gonna start pumping oil. So the only way you can really know whether this seal is bad, you can't really ask the seller to take it apart. But if the cover is removed and there's a lot of oil inside the cover, a lot of oil in the check valves, it's pretty certain that this particular sealing ring on this style is worn out and you cannot find these new. Okay, you cannot find these new. So where do you get parts for these? That's tough. What I've done is I've gotten a few of these used and I've taken them apart. I have a few of these bearing assemblies for sale on my website if yours is worn. But uh, those used parts, by the way, when I put them up on my website, even used pumps like this, I take them apart and I inspect them. I thoroughly inspect the bearing. So when I sell these, I've inspected them as much as I can. Obviously can't take the piston out and closely inspect the ceiling ring or put it back together. But here you can see this one kind of fits in pretty well. See, that's a pretty good fit. So when you take one of these apart, if you've got one you want to look at it, you can kind of feel the tight fit on this piston. Also look at the cylinder wall and look for any excessive scoring. If it's not scored, then you've got a pump that you can probably put back together. But you've got this other challenge. Where do you get this weird O-ring? I've had a couple of good use O-ring seals and I put those on the website and they like sell immediately. So what I'll do is if I've got a good bearing assembly, I'll remove it, but look at that. The bolt broke off, it may have damaged the thread, so I've got to do further inspection on this one before I can say to a buyer that, hey, I've got a good bearing and pump assembly here for the old vacuum diesel pump, you know, from the 74 to 79 models. The other thing that can happen is these springs can actually weaken. Now. If you turn the pump over, see that? Look at that, it's tight right there. You don't get any slop, but if you turn the pump over and that is moving sloppy, it's probably mean that at some point those springs have been overheated, maybe the engine's been overheated and the springs have collapsed and they're not providing enough tension on this bearing surface. Now, if that happens and this is running on the cam inside the engine, you could get a lot of slapping. And I've actually seen with excessive play between this bearing and the engine driven cam, I've seen these punch right to the top. So if you're having problems with pump failure, you need to really look at the cam and see if that cam inside the engine, you know, it's at the front of the timing device that rides up and down, pushes this up and down. If there's a lot of play between this and that cam, you get this oscillation and rapid you know, vibration in this pumping lever and it can destroy the pump. So there's a lot to think about here when you're dealing with these old diesel vacuum pumps. But I gotta tell you, it's not gonna get any easier. All I can recommend to you at this point, if you have one of these old diesels and you intend to keep it for a long time, you should go on a hunt now for a good used vacuum pump that you can put aside and you'll have it on hand when you need it. So if you want to check out my website for the used parts that I have available currently, you know, they come and go and sometimes they're sold out. I'll at least put a link in the description below this video.